And welcome to this edition of CBC Alumni Focus. It is a special edition of uh, Alumni Focus. We're talking about our fathers, talking about Father's Day with Father's Day coming up. And again, there's no bigger uh, supporter of CBC dads that I know than the original CBC dad. And that's Mike Bartoni, our campus ministry. Mike, what do you got going for Father's Day this weekend? Playing golf with the boys. Uh, we do it every year. Uh, my three sons and my four grandsons and uh, all the all the relatives uh, sons we all play golf so you guys are an interesting CBC family because you obviously your father went here in the in what ninth class of 1948 was it 48 48 obviously you won in class no of no 44 44 excuse me 1944 yes so and then you know you went here in the 60s you know your sons went here in the 80s and 90s or I'm sorry the 90s and then now your grandsons are coming here. So what kind of, what, what sort of meaning does Father's Day have for you? Do you think about your dad or do you think about your kids or how do you handle it? Yeah, I think about my dad. I mean, um, I actually came to CBC to play football, not because my dad went to CBC, but I guess it helped. Uh, got, got, it got the ball rolling with, the, uh, with my dad being a CBC grad. But back in the early 60s, uh, CBC was undefeated in football like three years in a row. And, you know, when you're, I played football in grade school and that was one of the top reasons that it's not the greatest reason to go to high school, but it worked. And uh, we had, we had a very successful football uh, um, four years, in my four years here at CBC. What do you remember your dad saying about CBC? I mean, obviously in the forties, it was tough times, you know, they're coming out of the war and, and a lot of difficult times in America. And your dad was going to CBC, graduated, you know, what did he, kind of say about it at that time what was it like for him well at that time he he went to germany he was uh he he went right in the army and he was a sergeant in the army they shipped him over to germany and uh he got to see the um uh all the mess that was in germany and and i know my mom told us don't ever ask your dad about this german experience so we didn't and i wish i would have uh got some firsthand information from him about the Holocaust because um, he saw it firsthand. And, and um, I don't know, we just, my mom said that don't, don't ever ask him. And we just kind of stayed away from that, uh, you know, that question. Sure. And a lot of people don't understand that veterans, uh, you know, a lot of them really struggle very deeply with a lot of deep issues, uh, again, in different levels. So I can understand why he wouldn't want to talk about that. But again, certainly, you know, he was supportive of you. You remember seeing him at the, in the stands for oh, the yeah. games. I mean, yeah. he was active in the fathers, uh, in the fathers club. So, you know, what did, what, what was your dad like as a CBC dad? Well, he was a good dad and I wanted to, uh, you know, basically be the same kind of dad as my dad was, you know, to my boys, mm -hmm. <clears throat> he took us to everything. And um, when he was, when Canetto's first opened up, uh, he was there. He bartended because he had to have a second job because we had seven kids and uh, three of us were, one was in Coriezu and my brother and myself were at CBC. So I know the tuition was, was very low back then, but, you know, five or $600 was a lot of money back in uh, the early sixties. So um, he, I don't know how he did it. He did, he did two jobs all, all the time. He was just on the go. And it, it gave me a good work ethic. You know, um, um, I'm, I'm kind of a workaholic sometimes. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. that, well, that's so, that. You know, when you think about, obviously you think about the lessons that your dad taught and, and things you teach your own, your own sons. I mean, things about work ethic you know, being loyal, you know, uh, being responsible, you know, are those, I think those are really important traits for, for young people to learn. Um, did you get some blowback? Sometimes the generations, you know, the kids aren't really as into what you were into. You know, it wasn't too bad. In, in fact, my, one of my, one of my grandsons is, he flew to Dallas. He's in fourth grade. He's going into fifth grade and he flew to Dallas for a soccer tournament. Uh, you know, stuff that, that I did with my kids, you know, I was a gung-ho coach uh, in grade school, coached them three sports and, you know, like my, my basketball team played in grade school. I got a, a little plaque over there, 388. We were 388 and 24 in grade school basketball for my last son, Alex, who graduated in 06. 
you know, that's a lot of basketball games in grade school. You know, I started them in, in like pre-kindergarten, put them in a kindergarten league. And then all the way up, we, we just kept playing and playing and playing. And, and it helps to have, it helps to have parents uh, that are gung ho like you that want to play in every week playing a tournament. Um, and we played CYC basketball. It was it was kind of it was okay. I mean, we did really well. We won three city championships in basketball, one in soccer, and one in baseball, uh, which my son Bo coached. Um, of course, he was he was in uh, New York on the 9/11. Uh, a, a month before the 9-11 in the, on the 104th floor of the, uh, uh, the World Trade Center having lunch with his, uh, his fiance at that time. He's a Mets fan, so they went to New York to see a Mets Cardinal game. And he was up, up in the, uh, up on the, I got the 104th floor. They have a, a restaurant up there or something. Anyway, he was there on, on uh, 8-11, not 9-11. And that's when we played the city championship game and she didn't know and she bought tickets, you know, air tickets and baseball tickets. So he missed the last game and I had to coach a lot of pressure, you know, and I took the whole team out to uh, the airport and we hid uh, and congratulated him for uh, being a coach for the year, you know, that's awesome. so it, it passed. I, we passed that stuff on to my sons and, and they coach now uh, their kids and, and uh, they're having a good time. Hmm. So, uh, you know, as we kind of talk about, you know, like important lessons and things that your, your dad and, and I'm sure you have your grandkids, you know, here at CBC as well. I mean, it's pretty impressive. You've had four generations go through here, you know, obviously means a lot to your family. And, and uh, you know, maybe just talk about what CBC has meant for your entire family, your dad, you, your kids, your grandkids. Well, we, I, I guess we got it in our blood, but, um, uh, you know, my wife was very involved at CBC. Uh, she chaired the auction twice and it was always every Wednesday she came up with her girlfriends and did auction stuff uh, over in the auction room every Wednesday night, you know, so I always stayed every Wednesday. I stayed late and had dinner with her and her girlfriends and uh, both CBC moms, uh, you know, Nancy Porterfield and, and Sue Rents, uh, they, they were inseparable. So they were out here almost 15, 16 years in a row, every Wednesday night, they had how you would bring dinner for all three of them. And, and then I would go over there and eat. And it was, it was fun. It was fun. Oh, it's been great for our family. I mean, um, I got two coming, two here right now. One's going to be a sophomore. One's going to be a senior. Um, they're both studs. They both started on the varsity soccer team. And my wife would be very proud of that. Sorry. Uh, no problem. Anyway. Anyway. Obviously, your family's been a big part of CBC yeah. and you guys have done so much, but let me kind of turn the table a little bit. So for me, when I meet these younger alums, to me, you know, like we see a lot of guys, they get a lot of money, get like really successful jobs. But I'll tell you, the thing that really warms my heart is when I see an alum with, with his kids walking in, in the building or coming to a football game, that they're involved with their kids, that they're taking time. And sometimes the situation doesn't work out and it doesn't work out all the time. But, you know, for guys really to step up for the kids is very important. I just thought maybe you could talk to the, all the young guys who are maybe dealing with fatherhood issues. And, you know, what kind of advice would you give them? You know, just kind of just to stay the course. I don't know. It's, it's tough uh, when tuition is so high, uh, you know, now, but, it's worth it. I mean, we we are really giving a, a your bang for your buck at CBC for what we do with the kids, uh, <clears throat> over and beyond the the you know the 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 math and the sciences, all that stuff. It's the high school experience um, that we're giving them at school right now, and I don't I don't think you'd find that um, in any place, any other high school. We just you know with with Brockman, Seymour, Walsh, Heat. Uh, Dean Meyer, those guys are really, we're, we're doing a tremendous job. We got a great faculty and staff and um, it's, it's, it's enlightening that, that when I, when I work here, I feel good, you know, when I go home at night and I see, and you see all your, your, your son's friends are bringing their kids to CBC and that's, that's, they, they come to our camp, you know, they, I've got, I've, I had three, I had two of the Charmateros in my, uh, um, and a Nicoletti in my cooking, my cooking camp this summer, cooking for dudes, by the way, it's a, it's a little advertisement, Rob, <laughs> there you go. Right. Uh, but it's a fun, it's a fun camp. Um, uh, ne next week's our last week, but uh, we've had a good time and I get to meet a lot of people. 
try to make the moms happy, uh, send some food home to them. And uh, it, it's, I don't know, it's been, it's been really good for me working out here. You know, another thing that for me for CBC has been really good about, you know, kids who might come from, you know, single, you know, single mother homes and just the role models and, and the guys here really, you know, step up for those guys. And, and I think that's always really important that they, it's not something to do very, you know, they don't like make, bring a lot of focus to it, but they just do it very quietly and they really help, help guys. And uh, yeah, I mean, and, we're, we're the, we are the Christian brothers now because there's, there's really, we don't have any brothers teaching in school. So the alums that are working here are the Christian brothers. And yeah. even the ones that don't work here, they're, they're passing on the, uh, the LaSallean way of teaching. So uh, it's a good way. It's a yeah. great way. Um, well, again, just as we're kind of wrapping up, I, you know, for me, I just want to wish happy Father's Day to all the fathers our C in our CBC family. You guys have meant so much to us and, and all of our alums who are uh, fathers themselves just to you know dedicate yourselves to your families and and know that they need you they need your leadership and they need you to uh, uh, to step up for them and I know Mike you, you tell your your kids that too to always step up for your family yep and I just want to do a shout out um, uh, you know how, how a small world it is uh, my son married Mike Bornflet's daughter and we we didn't set anything up Mike and I went to the the Mike, myself, and Pete Rush, the only still my best friend that I met at CBC in 1964. Uh, Mike, Mike and I were in the same uh, classes together for four years. And all of a sudden, my son goes to Maryville University, he's playing baseball, and he meets Amy Bornfleth, who is playing soccer, and they got married. Unbelievable. A small world. It yeah. is a small world. Well, again, we're going to catch up with everybody next time. This is Mike Bartoni, Campus Events Coordinator, and you see him here all the time. He's usually riding the Gator about 50 miles an hour up and down the streets, but uh, <laughs> he does a lot for us. So, Mike, thank you, and happy Father's Day to you, man. You too, pal. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, I'm going to put you on hold.